Hey folks, Wally here. Thanks so much for joining me. In today's adventure, we're gonna drive up north on this wet, rainy, southeastern Ontario day, and we're gonna go check out some crown land for uh, possible camping. Um, now, what I did is I checked on the, uh, the uh, crown use policy, Ontario crown use policy, uh, Ontario.ca. So there's a whole map there, you can see, and it's, it's really, I'll get into that later. But uh, that's kind of partly how I found out about it. Also saw another YouTuber up there very recently, so I wanted to go uh, go check it out. Anyways, let's get going. I, I need to get my camera here. Gotta stop it. Here. Hey guys, <laughs> well, I made it to my first uh, stop. This is not the Crown Land. This is uh, this is a boat launch. Uh, it's right over there, and uh, I wanted to just check this out. Um, when I when I opened the door of the car, um, the the fresh air just hit you. It's this smell of pines and needles, and it's just kind of getting used to it now but man it's just like you're you're in the outdoors it's it's really hard to uh translate <laughs> on video but it's uh even though it's overcast it's kind of stopped raining for now and it is still beautiful uh still a great day for the fall not as nice as it was earlier this week but still pretty amazing uh, i'm just gonna show you around here I'm doing a voiceover in this section because the audio was so poor because of the wind. Um, we're looking up the lake just uh, just off of where that uh, boat ramp was and there's a walkway, a uh, little bridge into the provincial park. There's a dam there to the left. There's lots of trails up uh, further in there. Um, and here's the dam further down. Uh, years ago, me and my father had portage from that lake that you saw further up down this stream. Uh, and the rapids, uh, as you go around the corner, we're not going to really see them. They uh, flatten out to a, a nice calm section of the river before it goes into another lake. It's really quite beautiful. I remember that distinctly. I left the boat launch and I proceeded down the back roads to the Crown Land, but on my way I had an unexpected and pleasant surprise. Our turkeys. It's all right. They made it past Canadian Thanksgiving. They're okay. I am pretty sure I'm on the Crown land here. Um, there's a guy further back there that's uh, parked his RV. Now the road seems okay. I mean, it's okay right up until the moment it's not. Um, but uh, I'd like to find a place to park and just walk around because I don't think it's too big. And at some point, I'm going to have to say, no, I'm not going to do this. <sighs> oh, here is something really interesting. This is the exact spot I saw in a video by that uh, YouTuber. She had this, it was, it was a little prettier, she, uh, but that was uh, the same spot. So I have come to the right place. That's, that's great. It's really mucky there. See, the thing is, if I get my car stuck out here, I don't know how the heck I would get it, uh, get it back out again. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for it. That's that's muddy down there, but I think I can I think I can do it. Crap. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off, I'll let you know. Okay, I made it. There's another muddy spot here, but I think that's uh that's okay. I I really do need a place where I can turn around hopefully up here. I want to find where all these campsites are that everybody's at. Oh, 
you know, one of the things I have to remember is, is it's rained really hard here in the last little while. So I'm coming across a lot of these muddy ponds, which when this other YouTuber went, uh, she, uh, it was very dry weather and beautiful. So I'm coming up when it's gross. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just go for it. All right. I could probably turn around here very slowly, but I'm gonna see. This is definitely the area. This is really nice. I'm gonna switch off for a sec. Hey, of course, when I said, uh, when I said uh, I'm gonna switch off for a sec was two seconds after I found a spot, uh, I'm right, I'm right here. There's my car, I don't wanna show my license, uh, right there. Um, and uh, I'm, yeah, so I'm gonna walk around and look for those, um, those campfires. And uh, it looks like there's, a, uh, there's another, another spot down there where I could probably park. Here's another perfect little spot for car camping. Now I should mention, that I do stealth camping a lot, but, or I'm kind of focusing on stealth camping. This is not stealth camping. This is perfectly legal. And there's a big, you know, wasp nest that fell down there. Nope. There's a fireplace where somebody's gathered a bunch of stones. Oh moderately recent hmm. well this is interesting there is corn scattered along here and uh, yeah the only explanation I can figure for that is that somebody's uh, maybe trying to bait deer and it also occurs to me that I don't have any bear spray. And actually, if you look up here, there's a, oh yeah, there's a spot. Oh, looks like there's a couple of things here. Some boxes, a trail cam. I'm not sure what that red thing is over there, but I don't want to really muck around. I just waved. Let's look over here. We're making our way back to the car. It's actually, I feel pretty confident here because there's the, uh, the road is on one side and the uh, swampy lake is on the other. So very little chance of getting lost. Famous last words. Okay, for, uh, for those of you who don't know, most Canadians will know, and I, I guess some, some uh, British folks or any, any other folk from the, uh, from the Commonwealth, uh, when I refer to crown land, I'm referring to land that is owned by the government. It's not privately owned or owned by a corporation. Um, I, I think in the States, it, it's federal land. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, that's just the definition. And uh, now crown land, yeah, there's many different forms. I think I mentioned earlier. You know, you have crown land, which I think this is, which is uh, open access. And then you have crown land, which is just, you know, there's no hunting or fishing. It's just purely a, a wildlife uh, reserve. Uh, there are little patches around here. I think this is one of the few that you actually have access to, like this road where you can go. There's, I think there's a patch further to the, uh, to the east of here. I, I'm certain this square right here is crown land. Like with within a couple of hundred yards, if not more, around here. Uh, I don't know how far down that road, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's uh, that's a little definition of crown land. Just in case you guys are wondering, I got long pants and proper boots on because I do not want ticks. That is a very real thing.
And there's the edge of my car right there. So the, the little access road is right there. It goes further down. I don't think I'll drive any further down there just for, you know, safety purposes. And uh, this crown land is kind of a weird, it's just a little square. So I think, um, I think maybe just a few hundred yards down that road, it, it technically ends. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just met a, a local. He was uh, walking down here. He's going for his daily constitution and uh, constitutional walk <laughs> and uh, just getting some exercise. Super nice guy. Uh, he, he has uh, him and his wife have a cottage further down, which which I kind of suspected because further down this road, not too far, 200 yards, it's uh, it's it starts to go into private land. Um, super nice guy. He's kind of he's from the Ottawa Valley. He's got a Ottawa Valley twang uh, um, uh, accent to him. But uh, he, yeah, he's telling me a bit about uh, around here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just really nice. It's very peaceful, and uh, things are uh, things are really good out here. I love it. Anyways, actually, he's coming back right now. <laughs> I don't I don't want to film him because I'm sure he's uh, yeah. I just don't want to do that. Anyhow, yeah. One of the things about car camping is you can bring a chair to sit in. And uh, last night I did think of that. I thought, wow, I'm gonna be able to sit down and enjoy myself. But I forgot it. However, I didn't forget a beer. I actually bought it on the way up here because uh, I did forget it, but I stopped in at a grocery store. Yeah, and uh, just to let you know what I'm drinking, I'm drinking the Great Lakes Pompous Ash Ass <laughs> English English Ale. My friend Tracy T, who was uh, co-starred with me in one of my other videos, uh, she got me this once as a joke. But the joke's on her because I actually like this beer. I, I like it a lot. It's gonna anyhow. Cheers. She's up in Algonquin actually right now. It's a pouring rain, oh, or it was this morning. I hope I hope it turned out nice for her. Yeah. Anyways, um, as far as this area goes, this this is a a successful recon. It's not a stealth recon because I will not be stealthily camping. I will not be illegally camping. It's um, it's just uh. I'm going to, uh, and I'll, ca I'll probably car camp so I can do some more kind of uh, fun things like bring chairs and such. Um, I don't know if I'll sleep in the car. I might, I might bring a tent or whatever. My car's pretty small and I'm pretty big, so it's not going to work out. But uh, this is a definite uh, yes. Uh, another great thing about this, um, it's very close to a provincial park and a boat launch. So I could go kayaking here. Uh, do a day kayaking and then come back here and you know camp make a nice steak or something I don't know a stew <laughs> Or I could also go hiking because it's also the uh, the boat ramp that I showed earlier is uh, Right at a, a trailhead into the park and you can do a couple, you know uh, um, Large loops like 10 or 15 uh, kilometer loops so uh, there's lots of uh, options, and it's about it's about an hour and a half from where I live. So yeah, so it's doable. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. I'm gonna have a sip of this beer. Oh, that's nice. And I'm gonna call it a day. It's just gonna be a very short video. The wind's coming up. I hope it's not screwing up with the sound. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out. Some really interesting stuff, little takes. It's going to be all over the map. Literally, I'll be all over the map. But I'm going to not just doing stealth and recon. There's, there's going to be some other stuff. Anyways, Wally Johnson out. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.